Hey everyone, I'm Rick and this is my preview of tonight's game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Dallas Stars in Dallas. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, some stats from the game. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the game and my keys to victory. And then I'm going to give you my prediction for the score and the outcome of the game. So all that is uh, right here at Talkin' Habs, the home of Habs hockey. Where everything's dedicated to the Habs and all things hockey. So to get more of my content like this, subscribe and ring the notifications bell, which is right down there. And while you're at it, you can leave any comments that you may have on this video um, about the score I'm going to give and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get right to it. So, the Habs are coming off of the uh, two games, back-to-back -back wins in the desert against Arizona and the Vegas Golden Knights. And they're coming into Dallas. Um, Dallas is coming off of a game last night in Colorado with a late start at 9 p.m. So it's less than 24 hours for them. And um, we'll see how that goes. So Montreal's record right now is 7-4-2. They are third right now in the Atlantic, ahead of Florida and Toronto. Um, their road record is 4-1-2. Their record against the East is 5-2-0. And, oh, and their last 10 games, they are 6-4-0. Oh. Dallas is 6-8-1, fifth in the Central. Their home record is 3-3-1. Three, three their record against the East is 3 Seven and zero. Oh, their last ten. They're five, five and zero. Oh. Um, they're one, one and zero oh in their in back-to-back -back games this season so far, and then they are five and one in their last six games. So they started off pretty poorly, but they're on a streak right now. Uh, excuse me if I'm jittering around, because my cat is trying to scratch me to get some attention, and it's just uh, unnerving. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, some other stats. Corsi 4 percentage. 52.1% for Montreal, good for 8th. 49.2% for Dallas, good for 20th. Uh, goals per game, 3.77 for Montreal. That's third in the league. They have scored 50 goals. They're only one of only three teams to do that. Uh, they're, that's third in the league. On the other side, Dallas has 2.20. Uh, has Goals per game, 31st, so that's last in the league. And they've scored 40, uh, 33 goals, that's 27th in the league. Goals against per game, Montreal, 3.08, 17th in the league. They've given up 41 goals, that's 16th in the league. Um, uh, Dallas is 2.60 for 9th, goals against 40th in the league. Power play percentage, Montreal's at 23.3 for 11th. And uh, here's where we have an advantage. Dallas is at 9.5% for 28th, so their power play is not not doing very well. Worse than Montreal had last year, but it's still early on. There's plenty of time for them to improve that. Penalty kill. Montreal is at 71.8%, so it's coming up. That's 28th in the league, and um, Dallas is at 80%, so much better, but 19%. Uh, 19th in the league, excuse me. Uh, Face-off percentage, Montreal 47.8 for 25th, and Dallas is 52.4% for 5th, so they're a little better in the face-off circle right now. Okay, almost done with stats. Uh, top four scorers, three scorers on each team. Galley, 7 goals, 5 assists, 12 points, 50 shots on goal. Drouin, 7 goals, 5 assists, 12 points, 21.2% shooting percentage. That's pretty good. Domi, four, point, four goals, <laughs> seven assists, 11 points, uh, plus seven. Price is six, three, and one with a 259 goals against and a 914 save percentage and a shutout. He's four, one, and oh with a 182 save, uh, goals against and a 935 save percentage in his last five games. On the other side, Ru uh, I don't know his first name, Heinz. <laughs> He's not, got nine goals, one assist, 10 points. 29% shooting percentage. Sagan, three goals, six assists, nine points, 44 shots on goal. Radulov, four goals, four assists, eight points, 43 shots on goal. Bishop is 3-5-1 with a 2-4-8 goals against and a 9-16 save percentage. But he is 12-4-4 with a 1-7-9 goals against and a 9-3-5 save percentage lifetime versus Montreal. 
Okay, so looking to make it four games, uh, a four-game winning streak, and three in a row on the road. Montreal's in Dallas tonight to take on a struggling. I wrote that before I read, because so, my internet's screwed up today, and I'm in trouble researching. Um, so they're not, they were a struggling Stars team, but in the last six games, they are uh, putting it together. Um, so they're coming off of a 2-1 uh, win over Colorado in Colorado last night, which was a 9 p.m. start, which does not give them a lot of time to get home, get rested, and be ready. They did not skate this morning. They have a, f um, they have a 500 record at home, and they're even worse against the Eastern teams. That's an edge for Montreal. Montreal is poised to win here tonight. That being said, I sure hope they don't take Dallas lightly. Because that they're they're doing well in the last so last six games, so I don't think they will. Bishop should be in net, from what I understand, because Kadobin played last night, and uh, and from what I read, I was able to read just before going to the film. I finally was able to get some stuff. Um, uh, and there's a pretty stingy defense there in Dallas, so to go along with home ice advantage makes Dallas dangerous. To look past tonight, and I doubt they are looking past them tonight. So I'm not really worried about that at this point. Uh, they beat the Avs last night, and maybe on a win streak of their own. Obviously, when I wrote that, I didn't realize that they kind of are with five out of six. So if Montreal isn't careful here, they could, they could go wrong, right? So Montreal's hot right now, and scoring hasn't been a problem at all. They have got 50 goals. Third team, only the third team in the league to have 50 goals right now. Drew and Galley, Domi, Petrie, Price, etc., all playing well and excelling. If they don't look past this game and continue playing like they have been, this should be another win and the streak continue. It's not going to be as easy as I thought, kind of when I wrote this and before I was reading, because I don't know a lot about Dallas, I'll be very honest with you. I just I don't know a lot about Dallas. I just know that they were struggling to begin the season. I noticed uh, Jamie Benn isn't one of the top three uh, scorers, so that can't be great. You can look at their scoring. They played two games more than Montreal, and their scoring is obviously not the same. We're doing a lot better. They've only got 33 goals to our 50. So my keys to victory. They've got to establish their game. Montreal has to establish their game as they have been doing and, uh, and adjust as necessary if needed. You know, they don't play Dallas that often, so if they need to adjust, they've got to adjust. Um, I don't follow Dallas like I just said, so I don't know their strengths and weaknesses. I really don't know. It seems like defense um, is a strength. Uh, their penalty kill is a strength at 80%. Uh, their power play is a weakness. And um, they're not scoring a lot, so that's what I can assume, right? Uh, I do know that if Montreal can take control early... Maybe get another early goal and force Dallas to play Montreal's game. And Montreal plays a full 60 minutes like, uh, like you know, like that. It should work out to good things happening. So if they just follow the same formula they've had for the last few games and uh, fight back, never give up, try to control the game, try to take an early lead in each period, uh, it should go their way. So they have to play their game, control the puck, Clear the defensive zone faster. That's been a problem for them. They've got to clear the defensive zone faster. Be strong on the forecheck. First on the puck. Have a tighter defense because they did give up four goals against Vegas. So you want to be a little tighter. Although two of them were kind of on Kincaid. Two bad goals, have to say. Um, and play a 60-minute game. They've been doing that. Keep doing that. Play a 60-minute game. I'm calling this game... Clearly, 4-1 to one for Montreal. That's what I see. 4-1 to one for Montreal. I'll give it maybe it might be a little tighter than that because I did do that before I really knew that they're uh, playing well, Dallas. But they're not scoring a lot. and uh, But they're not giving up a lot of goals. But Montreal is scoring. So um, I, I can still see them getting four goals here tonight. And uh, Dallas only getting one. And that's how I see it. So there's my uh, preview of the game. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to watch the game tonight and do a review, obviously. Uh, it should be an interesting game. Uh, Montreal's been playing very exciting hockey. Uh, I don't expect that to change. And we'll see what happens. So, um, I don't know. What do I do here? 
Uh, if you if you like the uh, videos and you would like to see more, subscribe and ring the notifications bell. That is down there, and that's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talking Habs. And I'm Rick. And go Habs, go! Let's kick some stars' ass. Bye, y'all.